On my right is Hisense Android TV. On my left is Sony Google TV. Both of these are running Android TV system, but when it comes to what will make you use either in a long term, it has to be the Android system update. Now, this is very important. And let's talk about the features of them because both of them are rich in features. Starting from Hisense, it's got good display, it got good contracts, it's got a lot of features that makes it that uh, you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, but then there is Sony. <laughs> Sony also uh, is very very great the panel the viewing experience is great and this tv is a boot 4k tv but of course i'm going to give it to sony because i think it sounds better the panel is better and it's google tv so you have a lot of androids google and goodies that you can get because you're using a google tv okay so now if you're going to choose between the two of them you must consider Android system update and that's what I'm going to show you because right on the Sony I have a system update in that notification you see there is system update as a point I start ignoring them because every month or two months you will get a system update and yeah <laughs> most of them are over one gig uh, or thereabout so you're going to and then if it is major update it might be up to three or four gig so um, you can get it from notification or you can go to setting system about and then you scroll down and also you can check system update but quickly let me show you uh the android version is android tv os 11 uh the security uh, patch level is january 1 2024 and you can see when it was distributed so we're going to go back now and check system updates it will still give us that same system update here which is 1.8 and then we're going to restart it already it's going to Pack, uh, it's going to um, <laughs> do kind of unpack process. I'm going to fast forward it so it goes very fast. I've not really gotten system update on my Hisense because most of these China um, manufacturers, OEMs of TV, they will just make one thing once, put every package and feature in it, and that will be it. Uh, but over a long time, if you're going to use TV for a long time, which is what TV is all about, you must want to think of getting some newer security packages patches some features uh some new feature drop and all that and that is one thing i've enjoyed with this uh sony google tv so right now we're finished updated and you can see i connected with ethernet both of them have ethernet connection if you want to so let's quickly go back to the system here setting system and uh, we're going to go to about and we're going to check our update to know what we updated to. So let's quickly go down. Now I'm still on Android uh, TV OS version 11. Uh, now I'm on June 1, 2024. It was on January 1. So <laughs> I've skipped a lot of uh, updates because I've not really, really updated for a long time. So um, once you finish an update, if there's a feature drop on Bravia, you will get that option to scroll down and read it <laughs> and to put it. It'll be interesting to find out what are the feature updates. I checked again, there is no update wow the icon of the hdmi you know the apple airplay the antenna they have changed and you can see the animation the smooth animation now i get information of display come on man that display is good <laughs> it's good this is very 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 good so it's it's one of the things that you will keep enjoying in a tv one week later what did i get of course i got another update and um uh, this time around, I'm not going to bore you with the update process and installing. What I'm going to show you quickly is that this thing updated again. And after the update, we're going to quickly go in. You can see I'm still connected using Ethernet. Uh, we're going to go in back to the system and setting and we're going to check out the OS and then, you know, the security patch. Now, I'm still on 11. Security patch is now July. So, you know, <laughs> after that one week, I got a new update. And if I actually check now at the time of recording this video, I might probably have another update. Uh, if I do so that's one of the great thing you consider getting a TV feature drops updates and what have you well this was recorded in the holiday children are watching YouTube kids and um, so if you're gonna go for Android or Google TV always go with the top OEM which will give you not just better display and features but also will give you system updates over a longer period of time because most people who buy TV will use it for as long as possible and with this you can enjoy feature drops updates security updates and the utility and satisfaction you will get from your TV will be top notch. So yeah, uh, make sure you follow me <laughs> for more interesting tech tips like this and uh, drop any question if you have between your TVs. I've made some video about it here to be in the description and until I see you in the next one, it is peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.